welcome back to our Let's Play of Until Dawn. We were trying to do the Let's Kill Everybody episode, and we're kind of failing at it. Although I did hear that when you do the icicle thing, even if you let the icicle drop, they still don't die. So anyway, let's keep playing through right now. Sakes, my clothes, really? Yeah, you don't need your clothes. Whichever one of you did this is off my Christmas list. Seriously, not cool, guys. Not cool at all. And as usual, I'm going to point out the fact that we're in a lodge, and she's got 50 billion candles, but for some reason, they don't have enough electricity to actually turn on the lights. And I mean, she shouldn't be creeping around like that. She has no reason to be freaked out yet, even though like half of her friends are dead at this point. So we'll just wander around, see what we can find, see that this door is locked. I personally just want to know how that towel is staying up, because that makes no sense. It's like she just defies the laws of physics. But then every time I wear a towel, you know, it just, it won't stay on. That's all I can say. Let's go look in this door. I love the fact that there were balloons back there. I'm not sure who thought that would be a good idea, but okay. Let's go into the dark room, which somehow has weird... Okay. Stupid jump scares. I see what you did there. Also, that was a really loud clock. Oh, good. You can still hear it. I was going to be like, Chris? what if you couldn't hear it as soon as you walked away I from it? Really? That would be an oversight, but no. Unfortunately, they this thought is about really it. really getting out of hand, okay? It was all what is this? Very funny. Oh, they're a little <laughs> Look at Sam in a award towel, thingy. Now I just really want this to be over, all right? I apparently missed that last time, enough? so that's always happy and, happy and yay. I wonder if there's other stuff in here like that. Probably. I noticed at the title screen right now that I've only done 20% completion on this, which is somehow sad considering I already saw the credits. So there's obviously a whole bunch of stuff that I'm missing, which if we check here, let's see. Yeah, like all that. So let's see, 1952. I almost have all 1952. Uh, Mystery Man I don't have a lot of, and I'm missing most of the totems. Whereas Abby found like all of the totems because I kind of stink. Wow. So we've only gotten about halfway through that. So let's just keep wandering around and see what we find. Wow, you gave up really quick. Of course, like I said, you don't realize that like half of your friends are missing or dead or whatever else happened. Oh, that's right. The balloons are part of the whole stealing your clothes thing. And right now I remember. Although, if you're watching this playthrough instead of the last playthrough, like it's some sort of watch the sequel first, then you have no idea what's going to happen. But I'm going to follow this balloon with a little arrow on it, because why not? In which case, we go downstairs with the mystery guest towel. Yeah, see, I totally missed those balloons on the banister, because it didn't matter. And we'll just go over here, we'll look at the photo, pick up the photo, yes, family, ready for the summer, that's happy and yay. Alright, and let's move on. Is there anything else over here we can pick up? No? Okay. So we'll keep going, we'll go where they want it. Me out. Guess what? You succeeded. Which is to the lower depths of the lodge. I'm pretty sure we're going to the screening room. I'm not sure. We'll just have to find out. Hey, let's pause and then suddenly go over here to grab this flashlight, even though you're walking into the one room that seems to have lights on. Wow, this is weird. Oh god, jump scares. Ba da da. So, I don't know how he pulled that off. Like, how do you close two doors at once? And then there's this. Looking for me? No, I'm not looking for you. I'm looking for my clothes. I don't think you'll have much luck by looking, Samantha. You're only going to see what I want you to see. And I have quite a lot to show you. Wow, this is so weird. Open your eyes. Open your eyes and see... She's quite beautiful, isn't she? A beautiful baby. So, how did he get these shots? I still don't understand. Idea what lies ahead? 
It's like, how do you possibly see that? No. Why are you watching? See, that's what a psychopath would ask. Why do you want me to see this? Why are you watching it? You told me to watch it. Stupid idiot. See, automatically you have to figure that this is Nine. bullshit. Because Eight. how would somebody get shots like that? Seven. Unless it was like a movie. Alright, that would creep me the fuck out. Sam. Uh, let's try to get her killed. So we'll throw the vase. And we're gonna miss. Oh. I'm not gonna hit the right button. Crap. Right? Oh, I didn't throw the vase. So she runs anyway. I honestly actually forgot how to throw the vase. I think you have to, like, actually hit the target for it to throw it. Yeah, and once again, it's been a while. Sorry, guys. I'm going to jump. Because I don't think hiding is really going to help anyway. What's with the canister? Oh, no. A quick event that I missed. You tripped and fell. Bloodied your knee. Why would you stand there for that? Oh, right, because you tripped and fell. Oh, no, scared teenager. Stop carrying the flashlight so he can more easily find you. Oh, let's hide. That seems fair. I think I ran last time. Again, with the flashlight on. Oh, yeah. Why are you I probably shouldn't have turned that off. Oops. The doctor will see you now. Oh, she remembered the bat. Oh, and I hit the quick time event. But that had some sort of effect on it, so we'll see. Uh, let's force it. Last time we pulled. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, that's a crappy door. Okay, fine, I'll lock it, it doesn't matter. I mean, this is all gonna end one way or another anyway. Okay, let's walk around. Look, an LCD TV monitor, yay. This is a good time to wander around, so I'm just gonna take a glance and then I'll go through this door. Which is locked, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have to force my way through. I understand. Yay, butterfly effect updates. And long dark hallway. Let's walk down the long dark hallway. Which I think is actually part of the sanitarium. Sanatorium? I don't know. Part of the sanitized area of things. Uh, let's run. We're running, we're running, and we're getting caught. So sorry to have caught you and knocked you out. I do have to wonder what he used. Well, I don't really have to order what he used. That's actually kind of creepy. Never mind. Well done. Hey, this place looks clean. The game seems to be going very well. So I wonder if that means that he's partially sane when it's clean. Yes. Oh, I'm not entirely sure. It did exploring the source of your fear. And you've just gone and used it for ill. Yep. That's exactly right. That's how psychopaths work. Uh, failure. Turned it against these people who use it desperately want to torment. That's right. Has it been worth it? Absolutely. I got off on it. It was exciting. Yay, the farmhouse and scarecrow. Okay, psycho. And we're going to fast forward through this. And we're back at the scene for vengeance. Five hours until dawn. 
So I think last time I walked gingerly between these things because I didn't want to do anything and remember to be a dick. And will you please just get a hold of yourself? Because this makes the most sense. Just let me think, okay? Let me okay. think. Shutting up. Yeah. Be put in your place. That's good. I'll just walk toward them. Oh, look, they're moving out of the way. Even though they're angry. This one doesn't seem to want to move. Yeah. You're kind of a dick. Don't worry. I got this. Because I'm a man and I have an axe. Oh my god! Come on, come on. There we go. This should be good. Aww. Yeah, I made them mad. That's part of the fact. So let's see what happens this time. Last time they just kind of let him walk through. This time they're very angry. And now we're falling. Sliding, gripping. Oops. And I think I killed Matt. All right. I know it's sad to, it's bad to celebrate killing somebody, but in this case, I think it was appropriate. Where'd they all go? I don't understand. How did they all disappear like that? Okay. So what is pulling him away? What do I do? What do I do now? I don't know. Cry about it. Seriously, where did all the deer things go? Why did they just leave her alone? Why were they after the guy? All right, so this is slightly new territory because last time they both lived. So now we get to walk around. Let's see if we can find any more totems while we're at it. Hello? Matt's dead. Bird. Kind of saw him fall and then get dragged off. Probably to be eaten. Or raped. All kinds of bad things. Ah. <sighs> Matt, I'm so quiet, Matt. I feel so bad for being such an annoying person for so long. Oh, we're here at the fire tower. Okay. I know there's... Oh, right, the motion line. They do try to get in some jump scares in here. They kind of don't do that well. I, well, I mean, you kind of expect it at this point. Hey, Totem. Pick it up, turn it over... Boom. I can't remember if we've seen that one yet. It doesn't matter. It's Chris with a gun. And now we remember what to do next time. Always be the ass. Alright, so the motion light turned off, which means it's going to turn back on again. There we go. Heavy duty light right there. Just calmly go up the stairs. So last time we had Matt and he had the axe in hand. This time we have no Matt and no axe. All we have is Emily and a flashlight. I don't think I'll be successful in killing Emily because I'm pretty sure that she will move through this. I don't know. Let's go up. I see I would not probably be able to climb this ladder in the cold, already freezing with that big ass flashlight in my hand. So that is some skill right there. I mean, look at that. She just beasted those, the, uh, that ladder, those stairs. It's an escalator. Bested the ladder with a big flashlight. Frozen, cold. See, freezing, told you. And keep going. Because I'd want to go up a tower in this weather. But it might have a radio. Yeah, I know. Shut up. Obviously, it still has power, so that's always good. Yay, breaking in. You would think that they would have built this place with actual, like, stairs instead of ladders, but... 
Maybe I'm just wrong. Hey, it has a latch. That's always good. All right, let's check the locker first. Oh my goodness. Yes, fine. I will do your bidding and open the stupid locker. Sorry, Hannah. You're still missing. Sort of. Not going to give that away. All right. Let's see what's on the printer. Press the button. So, no power. Good. No power is good. More no power. Come on. You don't know what you're doing. Great. No power. Oh, well, there's power somewhere. Let's see if she figures it out. I like the fact that there is a sink there. Question is, is there like a bathroom attached? Yay, wind. Oh, uh, look, there's a light and it's on. So of course there's a fuse box. And is it gonna spark? I bet it's gonna spark. No, oh, it didn't spark. I'm surprised. All right, well, that's something. Well, it's not a miracle. All right, let's go back inside. Can't close the door, but we'll press the printer button. Oh, God. Fastest printer ever. Missing. Beth. Too Beth was wearing a bright pink padded jacket, black leggings, snow boots, and a white beanie hat. Aww. She may have been in some distress. That's good. And of course the number is a 555 number. I should have paid attention to that earlier. Wait, why are you still flashing? I've already looked at you. Dude, can I look at you more? Is there more information here? No. Then why are you even... Stop that. Okay, let's go back to the radio, turn this back on, and then I guess we get to tune through. Okay. Oh, that was easy. Yay, Hello? let's talk to the ranger service. Anyone there? Hello? Please say something if you're Somehow they just oh, automatically need to start talking when she was at the radio. Hello. Oh, oh. Thank God, we need help, please. This isn't how radio works. This is the park service. This, this is this is just not how this radio works. Please speak slowly and clearly. Slowly and clearly. There's a, there's a maniac, maniac in the lodge. Wow, this guy is so jaded. I don't... Let's see. I'm going to persist. Because that seems like the best way to get that. Please repeat. Uh, fine. I'm going to persist the panic attack. Like, it goes against me to do this, but I feel like I need to. I feel like it's the right thing to do in this case. This is going well. That's a great conversation. That was weird, and it's going to, going to get weirder. How? How do they? See, this is just annoying. It's like. There's no way they could have gotten any information out of that if they kept saying that. So basically, it doesn't matter how that conversation went. You would have gotten the same result either way. Okay. Oh, right. That. Oh, no. We're all gonna die. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! No! 
Here goes the tower. The tower is falling. So much drama! Hold on to some... Why is it on fire? When did that happen? Oh, quick time event. And I broke it. Ooh! Nice! Beamed right in the face by the radio. That's great. That was the printer. Why was the printer on fire? Everything's on fire. It's great. Yay! This is amazing. This is going so well for her. Alright, and we'll call that for this episode. Once again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out all of my other videos, which are mostly until dawn. Bye-bye.